The title of this tutorial is what not to do under Linux. In fact, this could be the title of a whole series of videos, but this talks about one of the most important things to remember and that is do not log in as the super user as the root unless you are doing system administration tasks which actually need you to be as the root one of the most dangerous things that you can do in Linux is remove everything recursively I am in my home subdirectory so I have full permission to do whatever I want to these files and it's okay because this is actually a clone of another system this is one of the advantages of running virtual systems that you can do anything that you want with it and there are too many of these so I'm going to do it a different way and that is force everything without any asking so remove asterisk minus R recursive F for force removes everything and doesn't even ask you a question including removing write protected regular files now an important aspect of Unix and uh, all good operating systems is ownership of files and these are designated by these the R means read write execute this which I think is the people in the same group this is the owner which in this case would be me um, this would be that other people in this group have read and execute but cannot write it and in effect in order to delete it you need to write it and in this case this is the world which means everybody else now let's go to our list list is the same as directory and what happened let me just do a list without the minus a minus a displays all the hidden files and in Unix hidden files start with a dot so everything other than the hidden files have been destroyed now I'm going to go to the root subdirectory and um, the bin subdirectory has all the interesting commands etc and of course the boot subdirectory actually has the system boot including grub the GNU grand unified uh, bootloader I should have done it this way remove everything in boot I'm going to do the same thing with bin in a second and it's asking me because it's right protected and I say yes get rid of it grub get rid of it yes let's get rid of it and permission is going to be denied everywhere so let's 
do the other thing and that is bin I could have just tried to delete everything I just want to show you okay yes permission denied yes permission denied and even though I try to oops yeah. delete everything the system is going to still reboot while it's doing that I will go to another one of my clones now this one I've already supered but okay the previous one is now open so I will actually has rebooted and I'm going to do what you should not do I will do my normal work as a super user and I'm going to get rid of all the files that's it they're all gone no question nothing now if you notice since I actually am using the console there's nothing in trash so I cannot undo it and let's restart we are dead recovery from this would be extremely difficult but since I was using the virtual box I'll just power it off and let's bring in virtual box and that was the clone one one I'll just remove it delete all files and I will get another full clone so that was one of the dangers of being as a super user unless you want to do administrative work unless you know what you're doing and exit either I this was I got, got in here as a root terminal gets you out or if I go to a normal terminal su or super and then you give the oops uh, let me do it again and I put in the wrong password okay let's do this sue and the right password okay now I am 
here and if you notice again now I have the hash mark beforehand I had the dollar sign the tilde means that I'm in my home subdirectory which is home Java now because I'm the super user I actually get the full I do not have the tilde now I'm going to exit so since this was a normal terminal I am back to where I was so once again I cannot emphasize don't log in as the super user as root unless you are doing administrative work